Gangster for life. Jamal Richard, a.k.a. Dan Chorus, a new v based recording artist, have apparently caught the attention of the police. When did you first gravitate to music? I was always a music lover, you know, for as far back as I can remember. Um, but I think maybe in secondary school, maybe around Form 1, that's when I really started listening to music that I could relate to a lot more, you know? And that was like dancehall music back at that time. And in those early days, who were the artists that you liked? Movado. Movado? Awagasa. Oh, to be honest with you, Movado, yeah. You know the gully man? How? <laughs> I just liked his style of singing, his voice, the way he delivered his music, you know? I could have related to his music more to me, you know? The, your first song you ever penned, tell me about that. I think it was 2012, and I just thought about writing a song that would hit for the new year, and I started writing. My life is a new year, Lord, thank you. My life is so sweet. Life is a new year, Lord, thank you. It, was, it had a hook like that, but I don't remember much about it. From there, how did your musical journey, how did it develop? Well. As life changed and I went, started going through different experiences in life, I started um, gaining the inspiration to write new songs of di about different topics and um, writing music became a hobby for me from then. And I just started writing songs from then with the encouragement of my father, of course, because he's the, the, the one who's been behind me and encouraging me to write from day one. Take me back to the thought process behind writing Dog Life. Well, it started with the word dog life. It was just a word back then. My friends used to use it as a caption for anything they post, they would caption it as dog life or, you know, and I just, one day I just said, you know, how can I like the sound of that? And I hit up one of my friends and I let him know, yo, I think I'll do a song about dog life, right? I heard this rhythm that I really liked and I just listened to it a few times and then I just decided to take that, um, take the initiative and just build a song about it so that I could take the word to the world. Yeah, man, I style them differently. Why start and we defend it? We not trust car, we not friend it. Dog life, you know, dog life, you know. Yo, yo, yo. Although the road rough, we still talking it hard and Man still alive, praise due to the Lord and Enough boy said them I'm a dead how long But if you shoot, don't miss cause you finna about karma Me no back down from a wife we start And if you know your love tag, better you stay far Cause when my gun pop off and your life first last Cause me no love man and me no liking farmer <laughs> It sounds very Jamaican Like I said, um, dancehall has been my preferred genre of music I grew up listening to dancehall so much, you know, and when I started writing, like automatically I developed this Jamaican style of, um, of, of singing. Because, I think it's because most of the front runners in dancehall belong to Jamaica, but I know that dancehall is a very broad platform. So right now you see dancehall artists rising from all over the Caribbean, I mean, St. Lucia, Trinidad, you know, I've met dancehall artists from Dominica, you know, so I'm just here to do my thing. Describe the conceptualization phase for that song, um, that music video. What did you have in mind? Who did you collaborate with? What were the plans? Well, I co collaborated with Virgil. He's the video director. He shot the video. Um, a few friends from Viewfort. Um, the concept was to shoot a video that would um, reflect the lyrics of the song, right? Um, it was, I must say that it was well planned and well orchestrated. Um, I aimed for us to have an impact, for the video to have an impact, and it did. It was a lot of an impact. It was a lot of an impact. Police investigators are looking into Dan Chorus's video shoot. Our sources tell us that police are investigating the matter of imitation firearms. Video and stills have been brought to the attention of the High Command of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. 
The elephant in the room regarding that video is the proliferation of what appeared to be high-powered weapons. Talking about the props. How did you come across these props? Props is not something that's hard for you to get, you know. Anybody could get their hands on props. Um, I'm sure if you go any, to any town and ask anybody where you could get props, they would direct you to a store or somewhere that you could find it. But you, could, you would have to decide whether you'd want a props that sprays water or one that has buttons that would make noises. But we, we got some props. I purchased some, um, and we had to get some black spray to spray them to try to fit that concept of the video. You are on set. And there are all of these props. Did your production crew inform the police or anybody that you may have props that appear to look like the actual weapons? No, I don't think that even crossed any of our minds, you know, because you see the thing about it, we were so caught up in the moment and we just wanted to get the video done because we wasn't even worried about the props because we knew it was just props. What was the backlash? I would call it more promotion, because any publicity is good publicity, as the way I see it. Um, I mean, it caught the attention of a lot of people, especially law enforcement. Um, but like I said, we aim, the aim was to have an impact, and it did. So I was so um, happy that I aimed for something and I achieved it. When the video was released, what was the feedback like? Well, a lot of phone calls, you know. Um, to me, the, the entire population of St. Lucia, most of the population of St. Lucia was just anticipating the release of the video because of all those news clips and some viral videos that were released even before um, it hit the news. Were you all raided by the cops after? No, but I know that the cops are doing the job. They're doing the job. Then choruses are scare you? No. Why would it scare me? <laughs> I know that all we had was just props, so I think they know that by now too, so I, that, that's maybe why they never um, raided me. What's next for you? What's in the pipeline? Well, with the release of Dog Life, I feel like I hit the ham on the right nail, so I'm gonna just keep driving that nail. So I have so many songs and videos, you know, that I have well planned and ready to release. You know, I'm in the process of shooting a video right now. I just can't wait to start releasing again. So now that you're here, give us a little preview of your upcoming song. I have a song by the name of Sleepless Nights. And, and I dedicate it to my mom. Because since the release of Dog Life, she, have, she has been telling me that she's been having a lot of sleepless nights. She doesn't even know about this song yet, but I would I'd voice it for the first time ever with you. Mama na sleep, stress a bill and everybody talking. But mama me a go hard fit, me a go make you proud, you're my heartbeat. Yo, them want to do me like for them to cartel. Them no like to see when ghetto youth rise up and start well. We make the headline news, left everybody baffled. Now every rat and every dog, even roach, I'm a friend. One bag of calls just for ask what happened. New girl, I say she love me. I know she's an actress. Cause from a look in her eyes, I could see she's heartless. So I touch her and cut her off like Rampanzel. When me da, when me da work, them did a snore in her bed. Teacher said before me 18 years old, me da dead. A bag of evil wishes the wicked people are sent. While me I pray for the best. Mama na sleep, stress a bill and everybody talking. I sleep last night. Big tune. Big tune, big tune. To the little guy who might be 14 to 17, who has a dream, has the challenges just like you, what would you say to him in the furtherance of his career or his dream? Put God first. That's the first thing I would tell him. Put God first. Because there is no influence, no power to cause benefit, but by the will of God. So put God first and everything will come after. And never give up on your dream. Tell me your full name one more time. Jamal Remington Chris Richmond. AKA Dan Chorus. <laughs>